The question is, what can you talk a little bit about the benefits of mace training? So this was from somebody who had just bought their first mace and, and has been watching my reels. Thank you. I'm glad I hope they're helpful. Um, and uh, ho hopefully the uh, music choice wasn't too offensive. But um, I'm actually going to call it um, offset weight training because to me, so here's a dirty secret. Even though I've done a ton of mace courses and, you know, I'm, I'm friends with folks like Eric Milland and... And, uh, you know, Rick Brown, you know, we've, we've all hung out. We've, I've been to their courses, you know, we've been, you know, gotten high together, <laughs> all kinds of funny things. Um, um, I am not really a mace guy, you know, so I'm going to, that's which is why I just kind of, which is why I kind of just lump it all under offset weight training. Um, not that I, not that there's anything wrong with, you know, being a mace specialist or, you know, if you're like a, you know, uh, one of like a steel mace flow fo folks or, I mean, I've got no problem with that. That's just not what I do. So I'm not the best person to tell you like, what are the specific benefits of a specific style of mace training? Because I don't really do it, but I mean, training with offset weights, you know, it's, there's a couple things. And I think I boiled it down to, um, for me personally, was this idea of promoting these three things that we talk about in uh, PPSC, which are sequencing, stability, and smoothness, right? Because um, think about, here's, here's a great example. Um, imagine you have a barbell and you're gonna try to do a row. You're gonna try to just do, do a bent over barbell row, but you've only got one side loaded, right? Well, what's gonna happen if you try and just rip that thing off the ground like you see most people doing um, kind of their barbell rows anyway. I mean, it's going to kind of flop all over the place and be unstable, right? Because you've only got one side loaded. So, you know, you can do things like, say, aim to keep the bar level. You know, I mean, you know, your rep with, with an offset weight should look the same as your rep with a with, with a normally loaded weight if you're doing, you know, if you're doing a pattern that you would normally do uh, bilaterally loaded, right? So in this case, you know, there's no reason that the bar path should be any different on your on your offset loaded row than it should be um, with your you know, bilaterally loaded row, right? Which means you're going to have to figure out how to do that. And you know, if you're working through this in, in your head, you realize it means you're going to have to you're going to be applying kind of different stabilizing forces on both sides of the bar, right? So what I like about it is, like I said, that that it makes you kind of work, uh, you know, it kind of makes you work on keeping, you know, the things that, that promote stability, as well as smooth movement, because you can't just let the weight sort of do the work for you. And you'll find that as you do that, you'll actually get to the point with some exercise where you can start moving a little, a little quicker. So for example, um, yesterday I did, uh, I did kind of a snatch workout. So I was doing, you know, offset muscle snatches with a mace and I was doing, um, squat snatches with a mace and things like that. And, and you'll notice that, um, as you get better with this stuff, you can actually kind of start to move the weight a little quicker, but in the beginning, it, it's a great tool for kind of learning, learning how to kind of balance, you know, how to distribute load, how to distribute force. And then the other cool thing is that you will find out right away where your asymmetries are. You know, you'll notice that on one side, it's a lot easier to be smooth and stable maybe than it is on the other side. You know, for me, I, for example, for me, you know, when I have, uh, when I have weight, um, on my, on my left side right now, it's a lot easier for me to move than on my right side. Cause especially if it's, if it's upper body, cause my right shoulder's a little jacked up, but, um, it, so it's a, it's a good diagnostic tool. So I would say if you're not doing offset weight training, whether that's, you know, kettlebells, maces, clubs, even offset barbell training, you know, just, I mean, try that sometime, you know, go, go into the gym and, you know, do a, do say, do like, do like say the big three, you know, do a squat, you know, squat bench, well, let's, let's go overhead press, do like a squat overhead press, uh, and deadlift and, you know, do four, add in a row and just, just load each side individually. And, you know, you'll find out that you gotta, you gotta kind of play it a little safer. So yeah, but like I said, I think, I think it, it'll, you know, it, it, it'll do wonders for helping diagnose your asymmetries, finding your leaks, and it'll, it, it's great for proprioception too. I mean, you, you know, you will definitely develop better kind of spatial awareness doing that. So yeah, I, it, like I said, if, if that's not something you're already doing, you know, get, get on that train for sure. And uh, again, if, if that's something you need help with, you know, if you need some suggestions on how to kind of progress or just where to start, hit me up and I'm happy to to, to give you some info on that.